So a poor marauder has been sitting. Uh, it's been several months since I took this for a drive. So I just went out and bought a new battery. I'm going to throw this battery in, start this thing up. This thing has not moved since. Uh, this has not moved since it was stored in the house tent. And the house tent blew up last winter. I had to move the car over here. It's absolutely disgusting and filthy. Oh my God. Absolutely disgusting to have a car like this and leave it in this state. Look at this shit. So anyway, oh my God, this needs a good detailing. So I'm gonna put the battery in. I'm gonna start this up, check my tires, and uh, take this through a car wash and go get a plate and try to enjoy this for the rest of the summer a little bit. Okay, this is disgusting. All kinds of tree debris and probably critters have probably been crawling around in here. Leaves everywhere. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to clean this right today, but uh, yeah. I'm not doing this again. I'm not letting this car sit like this ever again. I swear. Let's get this running. Okay, we've got our battery in place. Uh, not very tight, but I got it on enough, I guess. The hood light is on. Let's see if this old bird will start up. Well, why don't we check see if there's oil in here? I actually did not even look. Uh, lots of oil. Looks good. Probably do an oil change as soon as I get this on. I mean, look at the uh, look at the pulleys. I mean, there's evidence of rust and shit on there. So spider webs. Not very happy with myself right now, but anyway, let's start this up. I will, actually, if I can get this going and if everything's good, I'm going to, my plan is to drive this car uh, for the next two months. And I'm actually going to put my Tacoma away. So, I'm going to have to drive this thing. Okay, we're running. Let's go see if all the pulleys are turning. Make sure we don't get any seized alternator or anything. Okay. That was pretty effortless. Alright, let's shut these doors and uh, let's go uh, check our tires. Okay, so I made it across the street. Uh, I've got one tire that's low. I only got about 15 pounds. So let's get these tires aired up and uh, we'll go over to the DMV, get our plate, and uh, take this for a spin. temporary plate good for a month uh, now let's go run this thing through the car wash looking kind of filthy hey okay, I got the car all gassed up of course this car takes supreme and uh, I got my uh, car wash code so let's go through and uh, this is just a drive through car wash see if it makes a bit of a difference this is quite disgusting it's gonna need a better detailing but uh, Let's just get some of this junk off of here. Okay, well, here we are. Get that code punched in. The window up. Oh, the window works. That's good. All right, here we go. Come on, take a layer of filth off. 
This is one of the better uh, car washes that I know of, but it's still just a, it's a $5 car wash. I'm not expecting miracles, but it's got the good spray on the sides there. my entertainment for the day. A lot of tree branches and goop in there and leaves. So anyway. Uh, I think the car thinks this feels good. Everything uh, seems to be working. I had the uh, had the AC working earlier. That's good. No crazy lights on or anything on the dash. Horn works. Lights work. Interior lights work. Look at this dreaded thing. Uh, I was talking to a guy online. He's got one of these. So the last time we chatted, I asked him uh, if he wanted to get rid of it. Well, if he does, I'd be interested in getting rid of that. Battery voltage looks good. Your magic. Cold in here. Must be some kind of waxy coating now. Hopefully, uh, it just doesn't seal in a bunch of dirt. Okay, we're drying off. here and see if this has made a difference. I so said I'm not expecting a miracle here. This is a five dollar car wash. Car 
car does sound beautiful though, I have to say. I never get tired of driving this car. I just don't drive it enough is my problem. All right, we're in the park. Let's take a peek, see if it looks any better. Well, we knew it was not gonna be a deep clean, but uh, I'd say it's an improvement. Yeah, there's still little bits, there's still little bits of debris and stuff. There was just so much on the car from sitting under the trees and the, the birds and stuff. Anyway, it looks better. I spot a Hellcat. Nice. I had a car up my butt there. I had to stop filming. Let's uh, drive this home and uh, see what she sounds like. I do like the sound of this car. Yes, I love the sound of this car. Even better when I go in two. I keep it with the overdrive off. It's got a little bit more pickup. Sounds good. I mean, this is a 2003 technology of the late 90s. Uh, the all aluminum Cobra engine, I mean, it only does. It is a V8, naturally aspirated. I mean, it only has 300 horsepower. Or 304, I think. Anyway, I love this car. Uh, like the Hellcat we just saw, I mean, this, this, this is not one of those. But uh, this car is unique in its own way. there. Brakes are a little bit wet from the car wash. over the speed bumps. All right, now we'll park it underneath a whack of other trees and uh, we'll get dumped on again. Let's see what she looks like now. She should be a little bit, a little bit drier. So we've done eight kilometers today. Maiden voyage, or not maiden voyage. First drive of the year, eight kilometers. Let's take a look at the outside, see what she looks like. Yeah, needs to be properly cleaned. But there she is. Just glad she's back on the road. I will I will uh, use this car for the next few months. Plan on driving this car until probably September, October. So uh, yeah, put a few miles on this thing. Yeah, it's still it still has some unembedded filth. I'll have to go over that again. But. 
Yeah, not perfect, but not bad, not bad. Yes, my gas door does not latch. This just started, started not that long ago, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to research that, try to get that sorted out. All right, there she is. That's all for now.